capture. Hey everybody, today we're playing some Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt is not seeing all that much love, even though it's one of the most robust monster decks out there. There are a lot of cards that synergize with Wild Hunt and with Biting Frost, especially now that the Ice Troll is out. So I'm up against a Hyper Thin deck. I can tell because you wouldn't really play these kind of cards together. And it's kind of popular now. So right there with the Witchers, definitely a <laughs> definitely a Hyper Thin deck. I have to kind of calculate how am I going to win this round as few cards as, as possible. And it isn't easy. There are way too many confounding factors. And I want to make sure that I minimize the amount of points I waste. So I just decided to go with a Wild Hunt Warrior and a sh ship. It reduces the amount of waste as much as possible. Now you might be wondering, why would I even dare go two cards under this kind of opponent? I know my opponent has used most of their tempo cards and most of their winning potential comes in the final round when they've kind of drained me as many cards as possible. So by beating them in round one, I can kind of force their low tempo plays, most notably the shrooms, to be wasted. So you see, they just played a really low tempo play. And I can keep abusing this. Now I have to be careful, since they are running shrooms, damage I do is kind of wasted. Now I'm also in a bad position where I'm probably going to take some damage. Uh, I'm going to get hit by a Shiru. Uh, it's not, not much I can do about that. Now they can't Igni me, which is great, because I only have 20 points in that row. Now I set myself up for a Shiru. But my opponent uses Scorch and Sad. Now I set myself up for the Shiru again, because I'm bad. <laughs> there the Shiru goes out. But I'm still ahead of them, even though they got a really good Shiru off. I'm going to kill off the uh, Siri Dash, because it's locked. It's not going back into the deck. It was a big card, and you do not play... Uh, in the, the deck my opponent is playing right now, you do not play Renew because you can't revive Siri Dash if, <laughs> normally. So it's a, it's a has higher chance of being wasted. However, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So my opponent uses Francisca. That gives me a good opportunity to use Nithral for 7 damage. Nithral is one of the weaker silvers in the game. But it's a wild hunt unit so it can get boosted by my ship. Also, Gales can get boosted by the ship because he's Wild Hunt. Pull out another one of my ships. Uh, I'm just going to trust that he doesn't have Shiru anymore. <laughs> and I get my Siri Nova. So that's a pretty good game. Uh, game's kind of bugging out there. <laughs> okay, our next game is up against a Control uh, Northern Realms player. Trying to make sure that I have as many one-ofs as possible. So that I can maximize the utility of my Slizzards and my Navigators. I might pull out the Slizzards or the Navigators. It depends on my opinion, what comes out of it. Because the Slizzards are not always getting the amount of value as I would like. So here you see that my opponent has played cards that are really difficult for me to deal with because they uh, counter weather. However, I have the good fortune of being able to play the ships, which are high value. Because <laughs> they just improve everything I play. Okay. Okay. He killed off one of my ships. That ruins the aura effect.
Now, this is a hard choice. Weather isn't any good here, so I might as well just lock my opponent's card. This prevents the armor dinging to be, and stops that from being an issue. Gonna place this into that row so that it takes the damage and the weather doesn't get any value. I mean, the, the armor, its ability doesn't get any value. None of these knights get any value. Now, because he's cleared the weather, I can just place weather on that row again, which is no problem for me. I'm still getting all of my aura effects from my ship. I'm happy and dandy to just play my leader, especially with the aura effect on the board. Aura is a rare ability you'll see on cards because it only applies to the ship, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> hey, you see that Al Ghul in my hand? I am very happy to see an Al Ghul. So I make a mistake here where I mulligan out the navigator the navigator was fine because i hadn't played any wild hunt riders and i could have just played two wild hunt riders we all make mistakes so i know my opponent's playing an armor based deck i can play around that i don't need to play any armor i mean like units that'll mess it up so here my opponent either has a weather clear or they don't they do have a weather clear but it's fine I'm not really using this round to uh, value out with weather. If they do have weather, great. If they don't, fine. My opponent locked up my two Wild Hunt Riders. I played... Uh, <laughs> it's not Imlorath, it's Nithral. I weakened up his cavalry so I could kill it, but it actually was a bad move to weaken the cavalry. I should have weakened uh, Radovid because he's, he's worth less points and can't be revived. However, I can play around this. So, I go into his graveyard and get rid of that cavalry before he can revive it. Every Northern Realms player plays with Shani, so I kind of knew that this was going to happen. I've turned this guy for... Uh, I use my Al Ghoul to make this guy into an Al Fool. <laughs> he doesn't have any excellent tempo plays because of it. And I get to play a huge, juicy Siri Nova to win the round. Probably would still win if he had the Calvary in his graveyard, though. So, see you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Say I'm gonna do my thing my way No matter what you people do I'm gonna do my thing much better than you No matter what you say or do Oh boy, you're out of luck It's gonna roll right off of me Like water off the back of a duck